All right, so in this video, we are going to go over how to place uh, head walls, uh, more importantly, um, how to size for any size of head wall, including custom sizes. Uh, so uh, what I've done is I've actually created parametric cells. Um, so uh, it's a 3D cell that has variables on it, and you can change those variables, and it will update the size. Um, so right now, what that means is it's it's actually not a part of the drainage node. It's just a separate cell. Uh, now, eventually, the software will support um, parametric cells within the actual node, um, but I don't think we can wait any longer. So this is kind of like a stepping stone, getting ready for that step. So I'll go over some of the things to be aware of in this current process. Um, so first thing is, since it is not a part of of the drainage node, you're still going to have to place your nodes in here so you can place your culvert um, first. So I'm going to do that real fast, and, and then we'll get into actually placing the head wall here. So, um, you know, I, I do want to mention that I did update the generic head wall feature definition. So, you know, these are inside stormwater node, you know, proposed or existing head walls, and then there's a generic head wall feature definition. So these used to place a triangle um, in 3D, uh, but a triangle, it's hard to really snap to that actual invert um, middle triangle that you want to snap to. So I actually switched that to an X to, to better facilitate that placement of the 3D cell. Um, so I'm just going to place one real fast. Uh, again, I'm going to use this this surveyed, um, but you know, if you're doing proposed work, it's most likely maybe pushed out a little bit, and that's fine. You can, you know, key in the elevation you want, and then, you know, snap to the location. The rotation doesn't really matter since it's just an X. It's just a not really representing a true rotation or anything like that. So you see, there's X here. If I zoom in, there's this kind of 3D jack looking thing that uh, kind of helps you snap to that middle point there all right so i'll do the same thing to the other side uh, change my elevation real fast okay so i got that place and then now i'll just come and place a conduit granted the video is not really about this so Pick pick your size. Okay, um, so now onto what we're really going to talk about here is placing these these 3D parametric cells. Um, so I'm just going to open up the the place active cell tool here. And you can select these head walls by opening up the 3D head wall cell library. Um, so this is right here. You can see the different ones I have. Um, they match our standard construction drawing. So head wall 1.1, you have a type A, type B, the left or right, um, your half heights, and then your box culverts. Um, so type A, type B, type C. Um, so I can click on, let's just do the first one here, make that active, and it will change your place active cell to place parametric cell tool. And so in here, um, I have set up variations to match the standard construction drawing. So, um, you know, click on these, it's going to set these variables down here um, to those values uh, that match the standard construction drawing table. Uh, but you can easily come in here and change any of these values to anything that you might want it to be. So it, it, you can use this as a starting point to create any custom size. Um, all of these variables represent um, what is called out on the chain of construction drawing. So uh, you, if you're wondering what something means, just go check out that drawing. Um, and then this interactive, you want to make sure that's checked on so that you can rotate the cell the way you want it to. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want to make sure we're in our 3D model because this is a 3D cell. And then we want to make sure that AccuDraw is on uh, because 
you can't really place anything in 3D without the AccuDraw. Uh, so what we want to make sure we do is is first we need to set AccuDraw to the right uh, orientation or plane so that it places the rotation correctly. Right now you see um, it's not really showing up correctly, right? So what you want to do is make sure so our AccuDraw is active and then you are going to hit the T key to change it to a top uh, rotation plane here. And now you see that the culvert kind of rotates into a top view plane. So all we have to do now is come in here and snap to you know that that node here. So we'll click and now I can set the rotation since I have interactive checked on. And the way I, I set these up is so that you can simply go to the other side and it'll rotate it correctly. So if you had like a culvert alignment you could just use that or you come over here and just snap to the node and that will get your rotation um, set up. So if we take a look there we have that head well placed. Okay. So after you place it you can very easily change any of those variables as well. So if I come over and look at the properties there's this whole variable section and here's all of these different variables. One thing I want to make sure is set the conduit thickness to your your um, pipe thickness because that's what um, sets up the this little um, invert point to like where the footing starts. Um, so make sure you set that. And I did take a lot of time to make sure that these were sized correctly. So you notice, like, say if I changed like my C value, maybe I bump it up, say five. What you'll notice is that the middle stays put and the two ends will move outwards. Uh, so it does take a little second. So it's the same thing for changing the height. If you change the height, it will go, you know, move the height up and leave the invert the, in the, the same location. So um, you should be able to resize the, the footings or whatever you want, and your initial placement point should stay put. Um, that's the way I, you would want it to work. Um, so I did take a lot of care when creating these to make sure they resize correctly. Uh, so another thing I forgot to mention is that uh, you should set your symbology over here to the you know head wall level. Um, even if you you don't, would have noticed is that all of these sub pieces on the cell come in on the on this. Um, level but then when you the actual cell is placed on the active symbology so you might not notice it's not on the right level because it will still be this color even if it's not so uh, just a side note if you forgot to do that you can just click on it and change it in the properties here so um, let's place another one over here just to see a different one so like a box culvert Come in here, and we'll place a box culvert. So you notice there's a couple different variables, just the way those uh, data sheets call them out for these box culvert ones. But you know, for these ones, uh, I did put all, like all the variations in here, um, but I did not put one in for every different box span and thickness. So uh, I just cared about the different heights and the skews in the table. Um, so after you select a variation, you know, make sure you set your box band and, and thickness. Uh, so, uh, but nonetheless, it still is a good starting point. So we'll come over here. I'm still in the top orientation, so I don't have to do that. But if you want to be safe, you know, go ahead and hit the T key again. You also notice there is a dot to represent that invert location. That's where my hovering my cursor around right now. Um, so that that can help you too in snapping and moving. Um, so we'll come in here and we'll just snap to that, and I'll rotate across. Okay. So some other things to know about this is I want to make sure I stress this that this is a cell just on its own. It has no hydraulic properties. It's not tied to the node or the pipe or anything. So if you do go and change like your node elevation, uh, it's not going to move this this 
uh, head wall with it. So if you make those kind of changes, you do have to make sure you come back here and move it. Uh, it's really easy to move. You just select it and use the move command, and there is that that dot that I just showed earlier um, that that you can use to snap to. So if I just you know, move this out of the way for a second here, I just select it. I'll just snap to the middle here. So you see, there's that that dot right there that'll help you snap to it. All right. So another thing to mention is that I opted to not put in like a hole for representing the pipe. That way you could have you can use these for different um, pipes. So if they're circular or elliptical, you know, box cover. Uh, but if you did want to see that, um, you could just draw in that box or circle just draw in a simple shape to represent that that boundary so um, to do that it's not hard I'll, I'll just I'll show a box one real fast here so uh, we can place a box make sure you're in 3d um, and then what we want to do is you know make sure that our, our origin is set so I'll hit the O key and then the A key to set this AccuDraw origin um, to that uh, invert point um, and then I do need to change my rotation so in this case we need to rotate to the same rotation of this head wall so we can do it R to start rotation and then E to rotate the element uh, and then I can come here and kind of select that face of the head wall you notice that my AccuDraw compass is now rotated about that so I'll click and now I have the rotation that I want and now, you know, I'm in the center, so maybe I need to to move over uh, half the distance. So whatever whatever this is, maybe it's four foot wide, so I'll do a two foot um, and, and lock that value in. And then I'll click to start my box at that location. And now I can come over and, you know, key in whatever that, that box sh should be, you know, maybe four. And I don't know, six, so that's too big. Um, maybe just four by four here, um, and then I, I have my box. Uh, so now I probably should have maybe put a fill in on this. So I go to my properties, and you know, just maybe you guys will do black or something, and and then you can kind of see it and change your symbology or your display style to maybe like a smooth, um, and then. And you, you can kind of see that, um, you know, maybe you want to bump it out a little bit, uh, but it's kind of a workaround just so you can see it. And if I rotate, you'll you'll see it better here. It just depends on the rotation. So not not perfect, but um, just just a thought. Um, I guess I I did not account for the, the thickness of the pipe. So you know, when I started that, I probably should have bumped it down that thickness of that pipe. Um, to represent the real, I guess, border. It depends on if you want to sh show the just the inside or the outside of the pipe. But nonetheless, there's a simple workflow. Uh, so hopefully, uh, this will solve a lot of people's problems. So we don't have to create, you know, a million different feature definitions for each head wall size um, that's out there. Uh, this way, you kind of just dynamically set the size you want. Uh, just keep in mind it is separate, uh, so that Hopefully, you know, down the road, Bentley said they'll they'll add these, you know, directly into the node. So placement would be even easier. You can just place it like you place a node. Um, you don't have to worry about placing it in 3D. Um, but for now, this is this is the workflow. Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is it didn't happen, and it probably won't happen to you, but I figured I probably should mention it. Is that occasionally I've seen the initial placement. Where this this middle point not placed correctly, like it just be some reason placed over here. If that happens to you, all you have to do is use the move command and move it into place. I'm hoping that doesn't happen to anyone, uh, but I figure I should mention it in case it does happen to someone. Um, it, it happened to me, you know, once or twice here, um, but it, it looks I can't really figure out what was the cause. So maybe it was just something wrong in the file, but um, there's. Just wanted to mention it, so you guys, if you guys run into that, you know, just just move it into place, and then it everything else works, the resizing and everything, it stays put.